G'day guys, Jason here. Welcome back to my fish room. So in this week's video, we're gonna be doing my May 2021 fish room update tour. So let's get straight into it. So the first tank getting an update is this one. And in here I have my Neil Amprologus Leilupi Longior Fry. So I have managed to catch out quite a few from the adult breeding pairs tank. And as you can see, there are several generations in here. There are some that are starting to color up. There's one there. See, so you're getting that beautiful golden color. And I have PVC pipes in here at the moment for them. I had a massive excess of these guys after I sold my uh, Lamprologus Oscillatus Gold and now Lamprologus Brevis Sunspot. So these uh, PVC pipes came out of uh, two or three tanks. So using them as shelter for the time being. And uh, they're doing quite well. The adult pairs still have fry with them. I haven't been able to catch all of them out, unfortunately. Uh, I would like to, but they're just really elusive and um, hard to catch. So um, some are in here and some are still in with the parents. Now I think the parents have spawned again because the female is guarding the terracotta saucer that I cut for her. Uh, so I have actually seen the fry in the saucer. So I was going to catch the adult pair and put them into their brand new tank into this system but I haven't been able to do that because they obviously have a, a spawn with them right now. And she is kind of being aggressive to the fry in that tank. Uh, she's chasing them away from the terracotta saucer, but not um, really attacking them too much. Uh, the parents are still tolerating their fry in that tank. So I was planning to put them into a brand new tank that I have aquascaped. I'm hoping next week's video or the week after, I'm gonna show you what that new tank looks like. The aquascape I think looks amazing. I'm really happy with it but I'm going to reveal that tank to you in about a week or two. So uh, look out for that video. So I'll show you the parents tank at the moment. It's looking quite horrendous uh, with all the cyanobacteria but the fish are fine. And uh, some large fry in here and you can see the colour that they're getting already. And these are fry. So beautiful coloration. Uh, there's the male. So they've got fry at the moment in this terracotta saucer and the female there you can see her uh, she's quite uh, alert around that uh, terracotta saucer keeps going in and out of it and chasing all the other fry away when they get too close to it so she has fry if they hadn't spawned I'd be moving him into the brand new tank so I'm not going to show you that tank just yet I want to wait until the fish are in that tank to show you the aquascaping on their brand new aquarium but yeah these guys will go in there uh, the fry obviously will go into their own grow out tank and my Neil Amprologus Brevis Sunspot will go into this tank. Obviously I'm going to give it a really good clean out and treat that cyanobacteria. So the next update is to discuss what fish I'm going to be selling at the upcoming auction. So by the time you see this video the auction would have been done. However, some of the fish I know I'm going to be selling are uh, my Transcriptus Gombi, uh, four of them I'm going to be selling them. I'm not sure if I'm going to sell them in two lots or one lot. Uh, these four Brevis Males are finally going to be going uh, into the auction. Also going to be selling three lots of my white Altelium prologus calvus fry. These guys, uh, some of them are pushing almost two inches now. And uh, yeah, I'm not really sure if I would still class them as fry. But I'll be selling three lots of these guys with three in each bag. Hopefully they do well for me. Bear the stuff in the aquarium, guys. I just fed the fish, so uh, that's why the water looks a bit dirty. Uh, these guys are my Kawenga Golds. I'll be selling three lots of these guys as well, uh, six in each bag. Hopefully, they do well uh, for me. They have done okay in the past, and uh, yeah, I've got quite a few as you can see there ready for sale. So, they'll be going in the auction. I'm hoping to sell some of my Lamprologus Ocelatus Gold at the auction. Uh, I'm not sure how many I'll put in per bag, uh, probably four, and there'll be three lots of those, because I don't have many left, um, so probably four per bag, and uh, three lots of those, so you see the beautiful purple coloration they've got on their bellies, and obviously gold body. And the other fish I know I'll be selling are other brevis, so these are fry, so more Neal Emperor Lagos Brevis Sunspot, uh, I'll be selling some of those as well. Uh, make possibly two lots of these, six in each bag. 
So if you caught my in-depth species profile on Gilodichromus regani a couple of weeks back, uh, you would have seen these guys starred in it, these fry, and in that video they were quite a lot smaller than what they are here. You can see they're getting the nice stripes down their body, uh, and uh, they still kind of look like they've got vertical barring at the moment. Uh, they're slowly transitioning into that horizontal barring that Gilodichromus regani have. You can see one of the adults at the back of the tank. Uh, I'm not sure how many fry there are in here, it's possibly upwards of 50 or 60. Uh, they're doing really, really well and I love these little guys, especially when they school like this, they look awesome. Uh, but they've been growing up since they first started uh, in that video a couple of weeks back. If you haven't seen my in-depth species profile on how to breed these guys, Judochromus regani, uh, you can watch the video right here. Fun little Tanganyikan cichlid to breed, an easy fish to breed. An easy cichlid to breed, I really recommend it to beginners who are looking at getting into Tanganyikan cichlids. If you want to give these guys a try, highly rewarding and very interesting fish to watch. So uh, yeah, these guys have grown up a lot since I filmed them for that video. So I'm going to be selling some of my albino bristlenose catfish, the shortfin variety. I've got quite a few in this tank that are at a sellable size, so I'll sell some of those. I uh, recently sold 30 pairs of these Endler Guppies to an aquarium shop in Sydney. And I also sold 30 pairs of these Fantail Guppies to the same aquarium shop in Sydney. So I'm glad I did that because these tanks were getting quite full and uh, they've got quite a bit more room now, even though they still look full. Uh, there's 60 less fish per tank uh, out of these, so I'm really glad that I've managed to sell some of those. So yeah, I think that's pretty much it for what I'm going to be selling at the auction. I don't think I'll have a full 14 uh, lots of fish to sell, but I will be able to offload a lot of the fish that I have been meaning to get rid of for quite a while now. So looking forward to this one. So there you have it guys, my May 2021 fish room update tour. I really apologise for this video being pretty quick, a pretty short one. Uh, I've had a really busy week at work and I just haven't had enough time to shoot and uh, do all the things I've wanted to do in the fish room. However, like you saw in the video, I am going to be releasing a video soon about the new aquascaping I did and how I did it. And uh, once I put the Leilupi in that aquarium, I'm gonna show you that aquarium and hopefully you like that aquascaping as much as I do. Anyway guys, I'm gonna wrap this video up now. Thanks heaps for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.